Well, good morning, everybody. Buenos dias, amen. And thank you for being here with us today, amen. Welcome to Christ Miracle Center. Welcome to Christ Miracle Center, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Because we believe in miracles. How many of you believe in miracles? I believe in miracles. I've seen God do miracles, amen. Many of us in here have seen God do miracles. And that's the name of this church because God still does miracles, amen. Todavía hace milagros el Señor, amen. He does not change. Él no cambia. Es el mismo ayer, hoy y por todos los siglos. What he did 2,000 years ago or 4,000 or 5,000 years ago, lo que hizo miles de años atrás, los hace hoy. He still does them, amen. He still heals the sick. Todavía sana los enfermos, amen. He still raises the dead. Todavía levanta los muertos, no nada más físicamente, pero espiritualmente, amen. He sets captives free, libera los cautivos. He still prospers. Todavía nos prospera. Amen. God doesn't want us living in poverty. He wants to prosper us. Amen. Quiere que prosperamos. Amen. He still multiplies. Él todavía multiplica. Like Brother Rick was saying, I mean, he took five loaves and he took five fish and two breads and he multiplied and fed over 15,000 people. Le dio a comer más de 15 mil personas. Con cinco panes y dos pescados. I gave him 10,000, he gave me back 100,000. Yo le di 10,000 y él me dio 100,000. Amen, that is God. This is Dios. He multiplies, él multiplica, amen. He still does the impossible. Te voy a hacer lo imposible. How many of you are, are here for something impossible today? ¿Cuántos están aquí por algo imposible hoy? There's nothing too difficult for him. No hay nada muy difícil para él. Amen. He still does miracles. Amen. He does more than we can ask or even think of. Hace más de lo que podemos pedir o imaginar. Amen. Hallelujah. His promises are still yes and amen. Sus promesas son sí y amen. Quiere decir que no reniega. He doesn't say no. Él dice sí a todas sus promesas. Amen. Are you ready? Are you ready? God still does miracles. Todavía hace milagros. Are you ready? Amen. Yes, we are. We are ready. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, every time I come up here, cada vez que yo vengo al pulpito, algún pulpito, yo espero que Dios va a hacer algo grande. I believe God for something big. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, one day I put something on Facebook, and I like what Sister Esther put. She said, go, God. Today, God is going to go. Amen. He's going to do some awesome things today. Amen. Hallelujah. Vamos, Dios. Le puso, vamos Dios, and I believe we're going to have a go God moment today. Que vamos a ver a, a Dios, que vamos Dios, así como en un juego de béisbol, donde tú estás ahí celebrando que pegaron home run. Go, go, go. Go God. Go God, amen. Go God. Everybody say, go God. Digan, go God, amen. Go God, hallelujah. Amen. On this Palm Sunday, amen, I want you to just lift up your hands. Levanta sus manos. These are palms. And just wave them. Just wave them before the Lord and tell him thank you. Dale gracias. Gracias por lo que vas a hacer. Gracias por lo que lo has hecho. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing and what you're going to do. We thank you for what you've done. And we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, he's no longer riding on a donkey. Ya no está este, montando un burrito, ¿verdad? O un asno, como dice la Biblia. The Bible says he's riding on a white horse. Está caminando sobre un, un caballo blanco. Amen. And you know, the people took their clothes and they threw it before him. Ha. Amen. You know what? The king of glory is marching in right now. El rey de gloria está caminando aquí a este momento. The king of glory is here. Amen. The Bible says he, he's a rider on a white horse, and he's called faithful and true, verdadero y, y, este, y fiel. Amen. Look at, look at Apocalypse 19, 11, Revelation 12, 19, 11. He says, luego vi el cielo abierto, y apareció un caballo blanco, y su jinete se llama fiel y verdadero. Amen. He is faithful and true. He is faithful and true. He is faithful and true to his word because he is the word. Amen. Porque él es la palabra. He is faithful and true. Amen. Today we're going to hear the word. Amen. We're going to have some go God moments. Vamos a tener momentos de vamos Dios. Amen. Vamos Dios. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to hear the word. That's a, that's a go God. Vamos a escuchar la palabra. Aquí vamos Dios. Amen. We're going to have some baptisms. Amen. Vamos a hacer baptismos hoy. 
That's a go God moment. Amen. Ese es una, vamos Dios, un momento de vamos Dios. And whatever else the Holy Spirit wants to do today. Amen. God is moving. Amen. God is moving. Hallelujah. Uh, today, you know, we, we're celebrating Palm Sunday. Estamos celebrando el Domingo de, de, de Palmas. No, Domingo de Ramos. It's also the beginning of the Passion Week. La, la Semana de Pasión de Cristo. And we know about that week. Pero así conocemos y sabemos de esa semana. Es la última vida de Jesús aquí en este mundo. This is the last week of his life. Amen where he shows his great love for us. And you know something? He didn't back down. No se hizo para atrás. No se arrepintió. Amen. He didn't back down. He knew what he was going to go through. Él sabía lo que iba a pasar y no se arrepintió. He rides into Jerusalem triumphantly. Entró a Jerusalem triumphante. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn with me to John 12. Anda, eh, vamos a leer de Juan 12, 12 al 15. John 12, 12 through 15. And I'm going to take a few points out of here. Unos, unos puntos de estes, estos versículos. Amen. Father, we thank you for your word. We just thank you for uh, anointing this message, Lord. We thank you for your presence. Damos gracias por tu presencia. Ungeme, Padre. Para liberar esta palabra. Para soltar esta palabra. Padre, en nombre de Cristo Jesús. Y todos dicen... Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to read it in English, and I believe they got it up there in Spanish. And, and it says this. It says, The next day the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. And they took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna. Man, we need to shout Hosanna every day. Necesitamos gritar, clamar a Jesús todos los días, Hosanna, amen, Hosanna, hallelujah. He said, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the king of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, and as it was written, do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Your king is coming, seated on a donkey's coat, amen. Dice, al día siguiente, muchos de, que, de, de los que habían uh, ido a la fiesta se enteraron de que Jesús se dirigía a Jerusalén. Tomaron ramas de palma y salieron a recibirlo, gritando en voz alto, Hosanna, bendito el que viene en el nombre del Señor, bendito el Rey de Israel. Jesús encontró un burrito y se montó en él, y como dice la Escritura, no temas, oh hija de Sion, mira que aquí viene tu Rey montado, montado sobre un burrito. Amén. Like I said, I want to cover a few points. Quiero sacar unos puntos de estos versículos about Jesus' triumphant victory into Jerusalem. A la llegada de Jesús a Jerusalén. Triunfante. A, a triumphant entry into Jerusalem. In verse 12, versículo 12, he said, the next day the great crowd that had come for the festival heard, heard, escucharon that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. Al día siguiente, muchos de los que habían ido a la fiesta se enteraron de que Jesús se dirigía a Jerusalén. Se enteraron. You know, point number one is that people heard. La gente escuchó. You know, like I think Brother Rick was saying, who, who will we send? Who will go for us? Dice la palabra de Dios. ¿Quién iré por nosotros? If we don't send them. They can't hear the word unless we're releasing the word. No pueden escuchar la palabra si no la estamos soltando. Amen. If we're not sending people. The people heard that Jesus was coming. La gente oyó que Jesús venía. And they didn't have telephones. No tenían teléfonos ese día. Ni tele, ni, ni, ni redes sociales, nada de eso. But they, the word, they heard that Jesus was coming. Escucharon que Jesús venía. The word was spreading. La palabra se estaba esparramando. Amen. Corría la palabra, la voz que Jesús venía y que Jesús estaba haciendo cosas maravillosas. And they were waiting for him in Jerusalem. Lo estaban esperando allí en Jerusalén. They heard and they spoke about what Jesus was doing. Comenzaron a hablar lo que estaba haciendo Jesús. Amen. The miracles he was doing. And they were excited. The people were excited. Estaban emocionados. Esperando en Jerusalén. The king is coming. El rey viene. Amen. El rey viene. And let me tell you something. He's coming back again. Va a regresar otra vez. Amen. The king is coming. The miracle worker is coming. Viene el Dios de los milagros. Viene nuestro Salvador. Él viene. Amen. The one they had been waiting for was coming. The one that you're waiting for is coming. The one that I'm waiting for is coming. Are you ready? 
Are you ready? Amen. They heard he was coming. Every, think I, every time I think of the word heard, cuando yo eh, eh, leo de esa palabra que escucharon o, o, o se enteraron, dice en Marcos capítulo 5, habla de la mujer que estaba sangrando por tantos años. And she heard Jesus was there. Escuchó que Jesús estaba allí. Amen. I, I think the woman had the issue of blood and she heard Jesus was in the area. And she heard what Jesus was doing. Escuchó lo que estaba haciendo Jesús. Why else would she be looking for him? ¿Por qué más la andaría buscando? Because she heard that Jesus was doing miracles. Escuchó que Jesús estaba haciendo milagros. She said, I got to break through the crowd. Yo tengo que meterme ahí entre la multitud. Y tengo que tocarlo. Yo sé que si lo toco me va a sanar. And she was healed, amen. And God healed her because she heard, and by faith she went and she touched him, amen. And she was healed. In Matthew 20, we talk about the blind men. They heard, escucharon que Jesús venía. And they cried out to Jesus. Y clamaron a Jesús. Y le dicen, oh, hijo de David, ten misericordia sobre de mí. And they were healed. Y Dios los sanó, and they received their sight. Recuperaron su vista. In Mark chapter 3, it says they heard. El pueblo escuchó, amen, que estaba Jesús, lo que estaba haciendo Jesús, y vinieron de Judea, de Jerusalén, venían de todos lados. And God did miracles with them, y Dios hizo milagros con ellos. En Lucas capítulo 7, el cinturón escuchó de Jesús, he heard about Jesus, and he asked him to come and heal his servant. Y le pidió que venía y sanar a su siervo, and he was healed. Le dice, tú no tienes que venir a mi casa, Señor. Más di la palabra. And he healed the servant. Just say the word. Ooh, that's so much power. Just say the word. And that's what we need to do is just say the word. Declare the word. Amen. In, in, in Mark chapter 6, they ran throughout the region and carried the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. Tenían los enfermos y les pusieron sus camas y los llevaban donde estaba donde escuchaban que estaba Jesús amen they were listening to what was happening estaban escuchando de lo que estaba pasando en Jerusalén y toda la área they were listening to what Jesus was doing he was healing the sick amen he was healing the lepers estaba sanando los enfermos los leprosos amen the lame el cojo amen raising the dead levantando hasta los muertos amen and casting out devils and he's not through yet y no ha terminado todavía he's still doing it amen let me tell you something. If your church isn't seeing miracles, si la iglesia donde tú vas no estás viendo milagros, amen, may, and there's no salvation, y arrepentimiento, and there's no repentance, maybe Jesus is not there. Maybe Jesus is not there. Maybe the Holy Ghost is not there. Because when he shows up, things happen. Porque él, cuando él llega, cosas pasan. Miracles happen, amen. The people were hearing about Jesus and what he was doing. Multitudes were waiting for him there in Jerusalem, amen. And they kept rejoicing. They were rejoicing, amen, waving their, their palms. Estaban alabando a Dios y, y tiraron su ropa así en frente del, del burrito, el asno que venía caminando, así como the red carpet in Hollywood, amen. Que iba un rey llegando allí a Jerusalem, and he was a king, and he is a king, and he will always be the king of kings, amen. Él es un rey y siempre va a ser el rey de reyes, hallelujah. They were waiting for him. They were rejoicing. Jesus was doing all these great miracles. Jesus estaba haciendo todos esos milagros. He had just raised Lazarus from the dead. Apenas había levantado a Lázaro de la muerte. Cuatro días muerto, and he raised him. You would think everybody would be happy. Tú pensabas, ah, todos van a estar bien felices y contentos. Pero no era así. Not everyone was happy. Los fariseos, los que no creían, los querían muerto. They wanted him dead. They were losing multitudes. Church membership was going down. But not here. We had new ones today, right? But aquí no, porque hay gente nueva aquí. Our church membership is growing because the truth is being preached here. La verdad está predicada en esta iglesia. Y Dios hace grandes cosas en esta iglesia. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Multitudes. Multitudes are waiting for him. And they were accusing him of lies, with all kinds of lies. Lo estaban acusando, echando mentiras de él. They were wanting to stone him. Lo querían matar a piedras. Lo querían tirar sobre una montaña, off a mountain cliff. 
They wanted to get rid of Jesus. They didn't want to hear him anymore. They wanted him dead. Lo querían muerto. Not everybody was happy because he was coming to Jerusalem. No todos estaban contentos y felices porque venía a Jerusalén. But you know what? He continued on to Jerusalem. Él continuó a Jerusalén. Amen. Su mirada estaba puesta en Jerusalén. He knew what he was going to go through. Él sabía lo que le iba a pasar. Pero pensó en nosotros. But he thought about us, amen. He thought about us. He continued on to Jerusalem. They call it the triumphant entry, la entrada triunfante, le dicen, amen. The people were celebrating. Jesus was on his way to celebrate the Passover, la Pascua. La Pascua, that's where the angel of death came over, amen. And took the firstborn of the Egyptians. He said, llevó el primero de los egipcios. Pero Moisés le dio palabra, Dios le dio palabra a Moisés, Moisés al pueblo, dice, hey, mata un, una oveja, agarra la sangre y ponle en las puertas de todo el pueblo mío. And when that angel of death came by, cuando pasó ese ángel, ninguno de ellos murió. Amen, there's power in the blood of Jesus. Hay poder en la sangre de Cristo Jesús. Amen. There's life in the blood. Hay vida en la sangre. Dice la palabra de Dios. There's power in the blood. Amen. There's overcoming power in the blood of Jesus. Hay poder para vencer al enemigo con la sangre de Jesús. Revelation 12, 11, Apocalipsis 12, 11. Dice, say, we overcome him by the blood of the Lamb. We overcome him by the blood of the Lamb. I tell you, I pray this every day over my wife and my sons. Yo ora esta, esta, ese versículo sobre mis, mis hijos y mi esposa donde trabajamos, donde ellos trabajaban en su universidad, wherever they are, pray the blood of Jesus over them. Oro la sangre de Cristo sobre ellos. Ellos lo han vencido por medio de la sangre del Cordero. Amen. There's power in the blood. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. Jesús iba a Jerusalén fulfilling, cumpliendo la profecía. Let's go to Zechariah 9.9. Vamos a Zechariah 9.9. If you can put it up there, brother. Zechariah 9.9. It says, Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion. That's Jerusalem. Shout, daughter Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you, righteous and victorious. Victorious. Lowly and riding on a donkey, on a coat, the foal of a donkey. Dice, alegrete mucho, hija de Jerusalén. Mira, tu rey viene así, así a ti, justo. Salvador y humilde. Viene montado en un asno, en un pollino, que de asno. The people heard, la gente escuchó, amen, que venía Jesús. And it was prophesied, y fue profetizado, que él venía. The Messiah was coming, and he had arrived. El Mesías venía, y ya llegó, amen. Hallelujah. And they were celebrating his entry. Estaban celebrando su entrada a Jerusalén. Point number two is verse 13, John, John 12, 13. They recognized Jesus as their king. They conocieron a Jesús como su rey. Dice el verso 13, dice, it says like this, they took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the king of Israel. Blessed is the king of Israel. Amen. Tomaron ramas de palma y salieron a recibirlo, gritando a voz en alta. Dice, Hosanna, bendito el que viene en el nombre del Señor. Bendito el rey de Israel. They recognized him for the first time as the king of Israel. Amen. They had not wanted to recognize him. They even threw him to the dog. Lo tiraron, lo echaron león. They didn't want to recognize him as a king. But let me tell you something. He was born a king. Él nació como rey, amen. The angels, los ángeles, lo anunciaron como rey. The angels proclaimed he was, an, he was a king, amen. Hallelujah. The magi, los hombres ma magos, lo vino a alabaron como un rey. He was a king. He was born a king. They worshipped him as a king. King Herod was afraid of him. Herodias le tenía miedo porque era un rey. He was born a king, amen. Hallelujah. Today, for us to know him, he's not only the king. Los que le conocen hoy, no nomás es el rey, pero es el rey de reyes y el señor de señores. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen. Look at, look at Philippians 2, 10, 11. Let me tell you what's going to happen to those that don't recognize him as the king of kings. A los que no le reconocen como rey de reyes, eso es lo que va a pasar. That at the name of Jesus, every knee is going to bow. 
Every knee is going to bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. Hasta los diablos van a, a tener que doblar rodilla. They need to recognize, everybody needs to recognize him as their king, as their king of kings. Amen. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord. Cada lengua que, que, que confiese que Cristo es, es el rey. Philippians 2, 10, 11. Filipenses 2, 10, 10 a 11. Dice, para que ante el nombre de Jesús se doble toda rodilla en el cielo, en la tierra y bajo la tierra. Y toda lengua confiese que Jesucristo es el Señor para gloria de Dios Padre. Every knee is going to bow. Amen. Toda rodilla se va a doblar. Wow. Every knee is going to bow. Let me tell you something. When they came and took Jesus to crucify him, the Bible says that they asked him, are you him? Are you the one? He said, yes, and they fell to the ground. Cuando vienen a recoger a Jesús, le dicen, ¿tú eres él? Sí, yo soy. Y cayeron, dice, prostrados adelante de él. Every knee is going to bow to him. Amen. Every knee is going to bow to him. Kings and presidents will bow down to him. Reyes y presidentes van a, 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 a doblar rodilla contra él, con él, por él. Amen. Hallelujah. Es los que tienen poder, los que están haciendo estas leyes mal, van a doblar rodilla. Demonios van a doblar rodilla. Diablo mismo va a doblar rodilla. Y todo mal que él trae va a doblar rodilla. Amen. Every tongue is going to confess. Cada lengua, lengua va a confesar que Cristo es el Señor. Hallelujah. The palm branches. Los ramos de palma eran símbolos de victoria. They were symbols of victory. Amen. They, were, they wanted victory. Ellos querían victoria. They were celebrating because victory was coming. Estaban celebrando porque venía Jesús y con Jesús viene la victoria, right? Amen. It does. He brings victory. That's all Jesus can do is bring victory. Esto lo que puede hacer Jesús es traer victoria. They were shouting, amen. They were laying them on the ground. Agarraron sus palmas y las tiraban en frente del, del asno para que caminaba así como un rey. Shouting and celebrating in loud voices. There's sometimes that people sing so loud but they don't know who he is. Hay veces que unos cantan tan fuerte que ni saben quién es Cristo. The king was coming. The king was coming. Venía rey, estaban celebrando. And blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Dice la palabra de Dios. Bendito el que viene en el nombre del Señor. Bendito el rey de Israel. Blessed means celebrated or praised. Esa palabra bendecido quiere decir que es celebrado y alabado. They were worshiping and praising him. Amen. Hallelujah as their king. And then they were shouting, Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna, save us, sálvanos, Señor, sálvanos, amen. Save us from these things that are happening to us. Sálvanos de todo lo que nos está pasando en este momento. They needed a Savior, necesitaban un Salvador. Y nosotros también necesitábamos un Salvador. And we know who he is, y lo conocemos, y nos ha salvado. He has saved us, amen. That's what Jesus does. That's what he did, amen. He saves us, he saved us, amen. Hallelujah. They were living in darkness. Estaban viviendo en, en oscuridad. Many were in prison. Estaban sufriendo hambre. They were hungry and thirsty. They didn't have any food, not only physical, but spiritual. No tenían comida para comer espiritualmente, no físicamente. Amen. Muchos estaban en las cárceles, vivían en miseria. They were living in misery. They were sick and weak. They needed deliverance. So many people have that today. They're living in misery. Están viviendo en miseria, andan en cárceles espirituales, and they want to be set free. Jesus will set you free. Jesus te va a liberar. He will set you free. Because you know the truth. And the truth will set you free. He has set you free. Él te libera. Amen. He will set you free. Hallelujah. They needed deliverance. Necesitaban ser liberados. Amen. They were crying out to God. Lord, save us. Señor, sálvanos. Hosanna. Sálvanos ahorita, right now. And they thought he was going to conquer the enemy. Ellos pensaban que iba a venir así a conquistar al enemigo. Amen. That he was going to save them right then. Que iba a hacer algo maravilloso en este momento. Amen. That he was going to restore peace. Que iba a restaurar paz y la economía, las condiciones, the economy and the condition. He was going to restore their health and their joy. And restore their physical and spiritual conditions. Que iba, iba a restaurar todo esto. Ahora. They wanted Jesus to save them. Querían que Jesús los salvara. They, they came in. 
and to conquer their enemy, quería que viniera y conquistara a su enemigo, los romanos, los, los líderes religiosos y todas las condiciones que estaban pasando. But that's not what Jesus was doing. Pero eso no era lo que hizo Jesús. Amen. Their hearts were not ready. Sus corazones no estaban listos. Estaban buscando la mano de Dios. They were looking for God's hand and not his face. Amen. They weren't ready to receive the blessing of God at that time. Amen. They wanted it done their way. Lo querían que Dios lo hiciera como ellos quieren. Y en el tiempo de ellos y no en el tiempo de Dios. They didn't turn out like they planned. No, no se cumplieron las cosas como ellos pensaban. They didn't understand that Jesus had a better way. No entendían que Jesús tenía otra manera más buena. He had a better way, like some today, amen. Jesus has a better way, amen, because he is the way, amen. Porque Él es la manera, Él es el camino. He has a better way for everything you're going through. But you have to wait for him. Tienes que esperarlo, amen. You have to call out to him. Tienes que clamarlo, Hosanna, Señor. Libérame, sáname, limpiame. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Save me, Lord. Sálvame, Señor. Amen. He is the way. And he has a better way. Amen. He has a better way. Better than you can even ask or think. Uh, mejor de lo que tú puedes pedir o imaginar. That's what his word says. Así dice su palabra. Seek him. Seek him. Worship him. Alábalo. Búscalo. Praise him. Worship him. Man, he'll do it. He will do it. He will take care of you. Hará lo que tú necesitas. Point number three. Punto número tres. He said, fear not. Verse 15. 1215. Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. No temas, o oh hija de Sion. The, pe the devil had people bound with fear. Satanás tenía todo el pueblo con temor. He will do that to God's people. Hasta con el pueblo de Dios lo hace. I've been there. I've been there. Moses was afraid of Pharaoh. Moses no tenía miedo a Faraón. Y Dios lo mandó. Elías le tenía miedo a Jezebel. 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 Que le iba a matar, le iba a tocar la cabeza y. Uh, he needed to go hide. Tuvo que ir a esconderse. The devil will intimidate. Intimida. Ves las cosas como lo más peor. Even when God is with you, you think, wow, Lord, where are you? Dios, ¿dónde estás? Me está pasando esto. He's there. Ahí está. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, Saul was afraid of Goliath. Saul le tenía miedo a Goliath. Mandó un joven, un niño de 16 años, a tumbarle la cabeza. Y Saul tenía un, un ejército. The disciples were afraid and they ran when they took Jesus. Cuando se llevaron a Jesús, los discípulos corrieron. They were afraid. Even the people of God, let me tell you something, sometimes fear gets you. Hasta el pueblo de Dios, a veces Satanás le pone temor. If we let him, si lo dejamos. But God has said, no, we don't need to receive it. No tenemos que recibir ese temor, amen. Hallelujah. We don't have to live in fear. No tenemos que vivir en temor, no matter what. God is in charge. Dios está en cargo de todo lo que tú necesitas. Amen. Todo lo que te está pasando. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell you a little secret. 365 times in the Bible it says, do not fear. 365 veces en la Biblia dice, no temas. One for every day. Do not fear. Say it with me. Do not fear. Do not, yo no tengo que temer. I don't have to be afraid, amen, because he is with me, amen, hallelujah. You know, uh, don't be intimidated by what you see. 
no, que no te diablo no te intimide lo que tú estás viendo, lo que estás escuchando. Jesus was not intimidated. He said, I'm going. I know what's going to happen. Yo sé lo que va a pasar, pero sigo adelante a Jerusalén. I'm moving forward. Amen. I'm going to get victory for my people. Voy a agarrar victoria por mi pueblo. And that's what he did. Amen. The Bible says, do not fear. Don't be intimidated. Amen. Pray and seek God. Jesus was not intimidated. Let me tell you, some of you might now might be passing through the valley of the shadow of death. Posiblemente uno está pasando por ese valle de la muerte, de la sombra de muerte. Hey, but he's there. He's there. And you know what? Not only is he there, he said, my mercy and grace follow you. He's pushing you forward. Su misericordia, su gracia, te está empujando adelante. You don't have to be afraid till you get out of that darkness. There's going to be light at the end of that valley. Va a haber luz al, al otro lado de ese valle. And he's pushing you through, taking care of you. Te está ungiendo con poder para llegar al otro lado. He says, I anoint you. I anoint you, amen. Hallelujah, Psalm 23. I anoint you to get to that other side. Amen. You don't have to worry. No tienes que, que temer. No tienes que, 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 que mortificarte. Yo estoy contigo. Amen. Hallelujah. Just pray and seek God. Stay in his presence. Amen. God says, give me your burdens. He says, dame tus cargas. Dame tu, tus temores porque yo te amo and I care for you. Y yo cuido de ti. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Isaiah 41.10, one of my most favorite scriptures. He says, yes, 41 días. If you can put it up there, I'm sure everybody knows it. It says, so do not fear. For I am with you. Ha! Do not fear, for I am with you. Amen. Do not be dismayed. For I am your God. Yo soy tu Dios. Amen. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Así que no temas porque yo estoy contigo. No te angusties porque yo soy tu Dios. I am your God. Don't worry. Don't fear. Because I am your God. I'm going to strengthen you. Te voy a fortalecer. Te voy a ayudar. He's here to help you. God is here to help you, amen, to get you through to the other side of whatever you're going through. If you're in the river, he'll get you out of the river. If you're in the flood, he'll take you out of the flood. Si estás en el río, te saca. Si estás en la inundación, he'll get you out. If you're in the fire, he'll pull you out. He'll go in there with you. Si estás en el fuego, entra contigo y te protege. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, I am your God. Yo soy tu Dios. I am in control. Yo estoy en control. Amen. Do not fear. No tengas miedo. Yo estoy contigo. I am your pastor. Yo soy tu pastor. Y te voy a cuidar. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't have to worry. We don't have to fear. I don't care what your condition is. I don't care if you're dying of cancer. I don't care if you don't have a dollar in your pocket. God is in control. No importa si estás muriendo de cáncer. No importa si no tienes ningún centavo en tu bolsa. God is in charge. God is in charge. And he wants to bring you victory today. Te quiere traer victoria hoy. He wants to bring victory to your life today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's nothing impossible for him. Nada imposible para él, como dice la palabra. Amen. Hallelujah. We make it difficult because we don't believe. Ah, we don't believe. I think if you believed, you would tire. Because he says, trust me. I'm a tither. I'm a giver. Let me tell you something. I went to the IRS. I went to do my taxes. We have mis impuestos esta semana. Y el diablo me estaba metiendo temor. He said, vas a tener que pagar 10 a 15 mil dólares. Wow. And I'm retired. So he's me laugh. So I took money from my savings, got a dinero mis savings, de mis ahorros, y los puse en mi chequera porque iba con la contadora para hacer mis impuestos. But God will never fail you. Dios nunca te va. I've seen it too many times. I've visto muchas veces. Tithers and we're givers. Since I got saved, 1984, I've been a tither and a giver. And I went to the accountant, pico en la contadora, y me hizo los impuestos. And he said, you get the money back. Yeah. 
just him. It's just him. And she said, I'm not even charging you for your sons, doing your son's taxes. Si te voy a cobrar por ser tu hijo, tu hijo. That is God. Fear not. No tengas miedo. Whatever you're going through, he's there with you. Amen. And he brings victory. It's like Victoria. Point number four, Jesus was humble. Dios Cristo entró en humildad a Jerusalén. And he came in peace, doing in paz. Let's look at verse 14, brother. Romans, uh, John 12, 14. He said, Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, as it is written, do not be afraid, daughter Zion. See, your king is coming, seated on a donkey's coat. Jesús encontró un burrito y se montó en él, como dice la escritura. No temas, oh hija de Sion, mira, aquí viene tu rey montado sobre un burrito. He was coming in humility, en humildad, venía a Jerusalén, en humildad. Submitting to the will of the Father, sometiéndose a, a la voluntad del Padre. He didn't fight, él no peleó. Entró en paz. Knowing what was going to happen to him, sabiendo lo que le iba a pasar a él. Amen. But he didn't back down, no se arrepintió. Amen. He followed through on what he had to do, on what he came for. Él vino y hizo lo que tuvo que hacer. He was riding on a donkey, venía en un, en un asno. The lowest form of humility for a king. La mudó más bajo para un rey. Amen. And when a king would come to a city and conquer, cuando venía un rey a conquistar una ciudad, él venía en el caballo más grande, más decorado y más bonito. Y si venía en caballo, es que iba, el caballo representaba tierra. Jesús no vino a ser tierra en lo natural. He didn't come to fight in the natural. No trajo ejército, no trajo espada, vino solo. Amen. He didn't come to fight in the natural. Él no vino a declarar guerra en lo natural. He didn't come to fight a physical battle. No vino a pelear una batalla física. What should we learn from this? ¿Qué debemos aprender de esto? He was, not com he was coming to conquer in the supernatural. Él venía a conquistar en lo sobrenatural. Amen. So many of us want to fight our brothers and sisters. Muchos queremos pelear contra carne, ¿verdad? Como dice la palabra de Dios. Contra nuestros hermanos y hermanas o con conocidos en el trabajo. We want to fight with them. Queremos entrar en una guerra física. But that's not the way Jesus fought. Eso no es como pe Jesús peleó. Amen. The people were celebrating. Estaban celebrando la entrada de Jesús a Jerusalén. Pero la mente de Jesús me imaginaba, yo me imagino, dice, wow. Okay, what tenía que pasar? I'm going to go through something very difficult and the people celebrating and Jesus probably just smiling así como nosotros a veces que tenemos tanto problema a veces y, y vamos caminando con una sonrisa pero adentro nos está comiendo. We're hurting. And I can only imagine that Jesus was hurting and I say that because when he went to the Garden of Gethsemane he was sweating blood. He was coming to conquer the supernatural. He was coming to the root of all evil. He venía a pelear con la raíz de todo lo mal, el diablo. He came to take him down. Amen. Vino a tumbarlo. And that's where we battle. That's where we should be battling. Amen. We know Ephesians 6.12. He says, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Amen. But against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. Dice, porque nuestra lucha no es contra seres humanos. We're not fighting each other. There's somebody behind that fight. Hay alguien atrás de, ese, de esa batalla. Amen. No es en contra seres humanos, sino contra poderes, contra autoridades, contra potestades que dominan este mundo de tinieblas. Contra fuerzas espirituales malignas en las regiones celestiales. There's a devil out there that wants to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Amen. That's who we fight. Hay un diablo allí que viene a matar, robar y destruir, y a él le peleamos. And that's who Jesus fought. Amen. That's who Jesus fought. Amen. And when we humble ourselves like Jesus did, cuando nos, nos amullamos así como Cristo, él nos da la victoria. He will give us the victory. When we come before him. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a big round of applause. Hallelujah.
come humbly before God like Jesus did, and he would always do, he promises us victory. James 4.10, he said, humble yourself before the Lord, and he will exalt you. Humillate antes del Señor, y los exaltará. I will give you the victory, amen. I will give you the victory, amen. Jesus didn't come to conquer it, Jerusalem. No vino a conquistar en Jerusalem. He wasn't just there. But he wasn't just born for the Jews in Jerusalem. No nomás nació para Jerusalem y los judíos, amen. But he came to Jerusalem for you and for me. Vino por nosotros a ganar esa batalla, amen. He was fighting for our salvation. Estaba peleando por nuestra salvación. Fighting for our healing, for our peace and our joy. Peleando por nuestra paz y nuestro gozo, amen. Hallelujah. He entered triumphantly there, knowing he was going to pass through a hard time, go through a hard time. He pasar por algo difícil, but he was fighting for us. Pero fue a pelear por nosotros, pensando en nosotros. Amen. Fighting for our deliverance, peleando por nuestra liberación. To remove every curse the enemy put on us. A quitar cada maldición que Dios, que el Satanás nos puso. Hunger, hambre, enfermedad, sickness, poverty, pobreza, y mucho más. Esas son maldiciones. And the Bible says, he who hangs on a tree is cursed. El que cuelga en el árbol es maldecido. He took our curses. El tomó nuestras maldiciones. Amen. He was going to hell to make the spectacle of the devil. Ain't that nice? Fue al infierno, le metió golpes al diablo. Lo venció. Amen. Para avergonzar a Satanás. He said, I'm going to go make a spectacle of him in front of his own devils. Y le ganó, le ganó. He rose again from the dead. Amen. Hallelujah. He rose again from the dead. Hallelujah. He went to Jerusalem. He went through those gates from Jerusalem while the people were celebrating to take back everything that the devil has stolen from us. Pasó por esas puertas de Jerusalén. Ja, ja. Amen. Para, para ganar todo lo que Satanás nos había robado. Amen. Hallelujah. To bring life and light back to the world. Trae luz. Y, y este vida al mundo otra vez. Because the world was dying. Se estaba muriendo el mundo sin él. Amen. To take the death, the keys of death and hell. Le quitó las llaves del infierno y de la muerte de Satanás. Amen. To put him under our feet. Amen. Para ponerlo bajo de nuestros pies. To give us the victory. And that's what we're celebrating today. Pumps. He entered victoriously into Jerusalem. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to finish with this. And if I can have the musicians come up. I'm going to finish with this. Amen. Jesus knew what was waiting for him. Jesús sabía lo que iba, lo estaba esperando en Jerusalén. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters, hermanos y hermanas. Este día, Domingo de Ramos, let's be grateful and celebrate. Let's be grateful and celebrate. Amen. Vamos a ser agradecidos y celebrar lo que hizo Jesús. Amen. Because Jesus that day, ese día, nos trajo la victoria. He brought us victory today with what he did 2,000 years ago. Amen. Lo que hizo dos mil años atrás. The triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Entró triunfante. Era un acto de amor. It was an act of love. He could have turned back. He could have turned back. He could have repented. Se había arrepentido. He said, no, no lo voy a hacer. But he didn't do that. It was an act of love for us. John 3.16, we all know. Put it up there, Juan 3.16. We all know the scripture. And it says, for God so loved the world. That's us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. See, God wants us to have eternal life forever, but not only that, a blessed life, amen, porque tanto amó Dios al mundo que dio a su Hijo unigénito, para que todo el que cree en Él no se pierda, sino que tenga vida eterna, He wants us to have eternal life, He wants us to live a blessed life, He wants us to have an abundant life, quiere que tenemos vida eterna y una vida en abundancia, muchos que estamos aquí, He wants to bless us and take care of Romans 5, 8, Romanos 5, 8, dice, but God demonstrates His own love for us in this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. Dice, pero Dios demuestra en Romanos 5, 8. Dice, 
Pero Dios demuestra su amor por nosotros en esto, en que cuando todavía éramos pecadores, we're no longer sinners, amen, we're saved, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Cristo murió por nosotros, el Señor, Jesús, Jesus died for us. Amen. Hallelujah. We should be celebrating Jesus today. Are you ready to celebrate? Están listos para celebrar a Jesús hoy. Let's stand to our feet. Vamos a ponernos de pie. Amen. Vamos a ponernos de pie. I want you again, take your, take your, just take your palms, take your hands, and lift them up before the Lord, and just wave them before God. Amen? And just say, Hosanna. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thanking him for what he's done for us. Dándole gracia por lo que ha hecho por nosotros. Amen? Hosanna. Lord, save us. Señor, sálvanos. Amen? Hallelujah. He saved us, and he brought us the victory. Nos salvó. He nos trajo la victoria. It's so awesome. Amen. He brought us the victory. Amen. Wave before the Lord. Just keep waving. Just keep praising. Just keep thanking. Dale gracias. Sigue alabando a Dios. Hosanna. 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 Dígalo en voz alta. Hosanna. 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 Hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. Hallelujah. Levanta tus manos de palma y con voz alta declara conmigo. Hosanna. 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 Hallelujah. Bendito el que viene en el nombre del Señor. Hallelujah. Because he brought us the victory. Porque él nos trajo la victoria. Hallelujah. We have victory over the enemy. Tenemos victoria sobre el enemigo. Ha, ha. Estamos libres de temor. Ah, estamos sanos, aleluya estamos restaurados, somos bendecidos prósperos y somos libres porque Jesús entró en triunfo a Jerusalén aleluya amén aleluya aleluya If you don't know him as your king, si no lo conoces como tu rey este día. If you don't know him as the king of kings, si no lo conoces como el rey de reyes y señor de señores, I want you to lift your hand up and come on up to the front. Don't be afraid because Jesus is here. Amen. He wants to take care of all your needs. Él quiere, él quiere salvarte primero. Amen. Quiero que, quiere que lo conoces como el rey de reyes y señor de señores, como tu salvador. Cuando tú clamas a él, sálvame. Él viene como tu salvador. And we need him. Lo necesitamos. Amen. He wants to save you today. Amen. Today, if you're not free, you know, it's libre. Tienes alguna una cosa que te está dando. Te libera. He will set you free. He'll do it. Amen. He'll set you free. If you need healing, if you need victory and healing, God will heal you. He's a God that healeth me. Es Dios que sana. Si necesitas, if you have lack, si tienes necesidad, dice Dios, por cada necesidad. Amen. Él siempre te va a responder. Tú 
clamas a Él. Maybe your heart's not ready. Maybe your heart's not right. Posiblemente tu corazón no está preparado. No puedes recibir. He'll do it for you today. He will change your heart. Cambia tu corazón en este momento. Maybe you've been running away. Ha estado huyendo del Señor. But today He wants you to run to Him. Quiere que corres a Él y no de Él.